this is my Composition 2 MWA2 podcast. I hope you enjoy. Music has always been a part of American culture. The music that is popular at any given time can influence an entire generation. If we look back to the music of the 1960s, most people think of the Beatles and how they influenced and continue to influence the culture. Just like how the Beatles influenced popular music in their time, musicians today have that same power. The only difference between music from the 1960s and music in 2022 is how it is promoted, advertised, and distributed to us, the consumers. Thanks to the internet, it's the easiest it has ever been to stream and download music. And thanks to the rise of social media apps such as TikTok, it's even easier for small independent artists to be discovered and quote-unquote go viral. Over the course of this podcast, I'm going to be talking about how TikTok has influenced the music industry for better or for worse. In the old days of the recording industry, there were more steps that an artist had to go through in order to hear their song on the radio. According to Forbes, quote, for a long time, the music industry has relied predominantly on traditional record labels. Both creators and consumers were completely at the mercy of the labels, and music preferences were heavily influenced by whatever happened to be in circulation, end quote. Musicians were very limited in what they could and couldn't do because of the heads of the companies were making all the decisions. This made it hard for artists to actually explore more innovative and interesting ideas because there was already a formula for what a hit song should sound like. Since the 1990s and the birth of the internet, the way we consume music has drastically changed. According to Music and Digital Media, a planetary anthropology, quote, the majority of music consumption worldwide now takes place via mobile devices, while the creation and circulation of music in the developed world largely occur online, end quote. The old way of music distribution falls under the B2B model, which stands for business to business. In this model, the two businesses would be the artist and the record company. The music has the product, and the rec record company has the means to distribute that product and make money. The record company acts as the middleman between the musician and the consumers in this scenario. Now in newer models, B2C, or business to consumer, the musician no longer needs the record company to distribute their song. Without the record company acting as the middleman and making all the decisions, musicians now have more creative freedom with what they produce and how they can advertise it. But what is TikTok and where did it come from? TikTok first launched in 2018 after merging with the app Musical.ly created in 2016. According to Influencer Marketing Hub, quote, TikTok is a short form video sharing app that allows users to create and share 15 second videos of any topic, end quote. More recently, TikTok updated its format, allowing creators to make videos up to three minutes long. One reason TikTok has taken off is because how it's different. Other social media apps show their friends posts in their feed, but TikTok leads users straight to an algorithmic feed tailored to their interests. This benefits musicians because if enough people interact with their video positively, it will be shown to more people. Artists can literally blow up overnight. TikTok's algorithm is extremely powerful. The For You page never runs out of material, and it is full of videos that users have demonstrated that they would like to watch, but not what they have explicitly stated that they would want to watch. I'm a musician myself, and I have attempted to use TikTok in the past to promote my own music. There's one instance where I had posted a video of myself playing piano and singing. The next morning, my phone was filled with notifications, and my video had 190,000 views. Now, this was nothing compared to viral videos with millions of views, but it's still a good example of how musicians can show their music to the world with just their phones. Like I said before, the algorithm makes it easier for people to go viral, but there are still a few ways you can do that. A majority of pop songs that have gone viral all had similar qualities. Since the audio content of TikToks are typically the songs themselves rather than the user singing or talking over it, songs that contain clever or quotable lyrics tend to be most successful. Jorgensen also points out that it is important to note that the greatest songwriters from previous generations used their songs to make an impact on culture and society with elaborate storytelling. Songs now try to capture your attention in less than 15 seconds with catchy beats and cool instrumentals. With musicians only having to make the songs catchy enough to dance to, it discourages people from trying to do anything else because only the catchiest songs will succeed. This tends to discourage smaller independent artists who aren't as likely to go viral. Most of what is played on the radio today became famous just because a lot of people liked the first 10 seconds of the song, regardless if it actually was a good song. There are also other ways that people can spice up their videos with different techniques. Very similar to marketing techniques such as clickbait titles, which are catchy titles that get people watching. It's very important to use these tactics at the beginning of the video, because if people are interested within the first five seconds, they'll scroll away. 
Ultimately, the music that is popularized by TikTok is controlled by a predetermined algorithm. Another thing that is now common is industry plans that are heavily backed by record labels before they even got big, thus being deemed industry plans. The essay, The Influence of Digital Media Transformation on the Music Industry, states, Despite the independence of artists, they still need funding and media relations that only record labels can provide. This is where big corporations come into play. These companies will take a concept from a pre-existing artist and find someone who fits into that mold. According to Far Out, Billie Eilish would be an obvious example of an artist who was signed into Interscope shortly after releasing Ocean Eyes, only her third song on SoundCloud, and essentially a Lana Del Rey knockoff. Industry plants, as you can see, have an unfair advantage against smaller artists who are doing everything themselves. In a way, the music industry can still determine who becomes famous the same way it was before the internet. For better or for worse, TikTok has changed the way we consume music dramatically. Since it's easier for someone to go viral, it complicates things more and the media becomes oversaturated and in return it becomes harder for musicians to stand out. And with TikTok's influences on Spotify and other streaming services, music becomes less and less original and is more about making money rather than producing a work of art. TikTok, like other social media, has good and bad qualities. On the one hand, it can be a very useful platform to grow your following as a musician, but when industry plants and big companies get involved, it becomes less authentic. Things start to regress to the music industry of the past. Hey, it's me again, and I'd like to thank my list of sources for making this podcast possible. The Influence of Digital Transformation on the Music Industry. Music and Digital Media from UCL Press. Council Posts, The Evolution of the Music Industry and What It Means for Marketing Yourself as a Musician, Forbes Magazine. What is TikTok? Everything you need to know in 2023. Influencer Marketing Hub. The Influence of TikTok, Promotion Trends in Mainstream Pop Music, California State University. What is an industry plant? B2C, how business consumer sales work, five types and examples. Investopedia. Love it or hate it, TikTok is changing the music industry, the conversation. What has changed in the music industry from traditional to digitalization of music and platform capitalization? Spotify versus TikTok. And finally, how is TikTok changing the music industry from Business Insider? Thanks again for checking out this podcast, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.